Magic the Gathering cards. Which staple cards are you trying to get for your decks? Let's take a look at some awesome cards. They're coming up next. Well, here we go again. Welcome back, everyone. MTG Moxman here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today, wherever you are in the world out there. I mean, here in Canada, it's kind of cold. I got to be honest. We're seeing frost. Um, snow is probably not far away. Ski season will start. Snow tires are on, and I'm prepared for that cold weather. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're prepared too. So let's get to a great conversation in Magic the Gathering. When I look at all the cards out there, 20,000 plus unique cards, only 572 are reserve list, which means everything else, all 19,000 plus other cards are not reserve list out there. From Commander, Pioneer, every format you can imagine, to just kitchen table magic playing with some friends. These cards are varied and they are many. The sales on these are all over the place each and every day. So let's go ahead and take a look at some amazing magic cards. Starting things off with a slash, we have Sliver Legion from Future Sight. You can find this card for $38 Canadian for a near mint copy. The average is $34.84 US. The market has it at $38.21 US. A foil will run you a lot. You gotta remember it's an old school foil, $245.10 US and 20 euro and 68 cents of course will get you that card. The sales on this guy are quite high. A lot of people like to still build those sliver tribals when they see them in play. They like to pick this card up. And although he has been reprinted, I am estimating Wizards gives him a break after we saw him in, I think it was Time Spiral Remastered. I'm expecting him to probably get a two to three year break to let some of these prices drift back up and let the market absorb what has happened out there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next card. And that's going to be Scalding Tarn from Modern Horizons 2. Now remember, Scalding Tarn is a specialty product. So although they keep printing these fetch lands, they're never as easy to get as people think. You have to crack some pretty expensive products to hopefully get one. But the price has been driven down, which was necessary for the market. We have it here at $40 Canadian for a near mint copy. The average is $35 US. The market has it at $29.47. A foil is $41.43. And €29.37 will get you that card. But the sales on this thing were insane in the 28-day period. And I got to be honest, I'm expecting this guy to make my top 10 video this week of the hottest selling cards. It has moved a lot in the last 12 days. And I've still got the rest this week to tally the numbers for this week to see how well Scalding Tarn does. And I have a pretty good feeling that card is going to make the list. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next card, which is going to be the Crater Hoof Behemoth. And that's from Avacyn Restored. This card comes in at $55 Canadian near mint. The average is $47.92. The market has it at $45.79 US. A foil, again, older school foil, going to run you $189.75 US. And €39.05 will get you that card. The sales were really high on this guy. He has moved a lot. It's another one of those cards that although he's gotten a reprint, his price has not been forced down so far that he's become worthless. Wizards has done a pretty good job kind of keeping a nice moderation. I mean, he's mythic. When he gets reprinted, it's in a specialty product and he's kind of hard to get. But he is kind of coming back around. So he is out there to be purchased. I'm hoping the price will drop a little bit further, but I'm doubting it. If he hits that $50 level Canadian, I think that's about the bottom of him right now. I'll look forward to seeing what else happens in the future. But this many sales really tells me that people are pretty much accepting what price is at right now. And they're happy to get their hands on a copy. Now, when we're taking a look at Champion's Helm, this card from Commander has seen an increased amount of sales in the last 28 day period, enough that it caught my eye. Now you can see here, it's got $35 Canadian for a near mint copy. The average is 30, 39 US. The market comes in at 38, 34 US. And of course, 17 euro and 39 cents will get you that card. Now, because of the high sales, this card is kind of bottoming out where it's at the lowest it's probably going to be. I actually expect this card to slowly drift up because of its playability in the Commander format. It's also allowed in Legacy and Vintage, but let's face it, you're going to mainly see this in Commander. That's the way it's going to be. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next card, which is going to be Cabal Coffers, because this one here has insane sales. Another one of those cards that I probably expect to see on the list this week if it continues the trend it's on right now. Now, the one I'm showing you today is the Cabal Coffers Borderless because its sales were through the roof. 
This card comes in at $47 Canadian for a near mint quality copy. The average is $40.70 US. The market has it at $35.18 US. A foil will run you $79.50 US and €23.10 will get you that card. But because of the high sales, and you can see it's kind of like bottomed out here, it's not really bottoming it out. People are picking them up. We're not seeing as much Modern Horizons 2 opened right now. If you have this card, I don't recommend getting rid of it unless you have extra copies and you just don't need it. If you have it, you might want to hold on. I don't see Wizards reprinting this anytime soon. They want to keep that equity up there. They want to keep this mythic just kind of churning cash for them, which means it can't get reprinted all the time. Keep an eye out, Cabal Coffers. And you notice I said a 16-day sale period here. Because when I looked back, I didn't need to go any further to see how high these sales were. It was nuts. Let's check out Solitude from Modern Horizons 2. You can find this card for $60 Canadian near mint. The average is $57.73. The market has it at $45.98. A foil will run you $80.90 US and €52.36 to grab that card. Now remember, the formats this is permitted in is Commander, Vintage, Legacy, and Modern. But just like Cabal Coffers, this thing had insanely high sales that I just had to look in a 16-day period and stop and go, whoa, there's tons of sales everywhere across the platforms I check. This card is worth money. People are loving it. And let's face it, Solitude has a lot going for it. It's got Flash, Lifelink, it exiles things, it's got Evoke. But not only that, Modern Horizons 2 is not being opened a lot now. We're closing out the year, things are done, they've calmed down, Wall of Fatigue is in full full bloom right now i can see this card just kind of rising in value over time guys so keep an eye on it cabal coffers same thing it used to be an uncommon they've made it a mythic they want the money from it they're gonna drip these things out way to go for those who managed to hold copies or bought them when they were a little bit lower congratulations let's go ahead and take a look at our next card which is going to be double masters mana crypt you can find this card for 180 dollars canadian near mint the average is 169.63 the market has it at $154.36. A foil is going to run you $202.48 US. And of course, €89.24 will get you that card. The sales are high for a 28-day period of this card. But what gets me is the formats are quite limiting. Commander and Vintage only. And I guess most people are going to be using this in Commander and Vintage. I, I get that. I wish it was playable in more formats. Because when it's that limited, it narrows its ability to grow in value. For that reason, I actually expect Mana Crypt to drop down a little bit. I'll be curious to see what happens in the next 120 days. All right, our next card up is Karn Liberated from Double Masters. Now, I remember Karn being a $70, $80 card. The sales are super high on this guy. But when I saw he's only $32 Canadian, that blew my mind. Okay, blew my mind, just like when Ugin dropped. This is a colorless planeswalker who can win the game. The average is $31.25 US. The market has it at $26.59 US. A foil will run you $37.49 US. And of course, €24.19 will get you that card. Commander, Vintage, Modern, and Legacy. This guy is a beast. But let's face it, he's been reprinted. He's come around a few times. He's been around the block. He's not the, he's not the new kids on the block anymore. He's, he's the old kid on the block, and people don't want to play with him anymore. They're bored. They know what he's all about. The sales on this guy, though, are really high for a 20-day period. And I got to say, Karn, I'm glad you're down here so people can grab you. But expect this guy to stop being printed. Wizards won't want him to drop that low. And they're not going to put him back in a standard set. So expect him to kind of be out for a year or two, I'm expecting. Unless he comes back in, like, double masters or something. Who knows? But we'll see. I expect him to sit around and do absolutely nothing for a couple of years and slowly drift up in price. Now, when we're taking a look at Liliana of the Veil, let's remember, this is not a finance channel. I don't know what I'm talking about. But Liliana of the Veil is just awesome to me. Okay, Ultimate Masters version here of Liliana of the Veil. We got her at $90 Canadian. The average is $78.08. The market has it at $70.59 US. The foil will run you $119.31 US. And €52.91 will get you that card. Formats permitted are Modern, Commander, Vintage, and Legacy. The sales are only steady on her. They are not high for an entire 28-day period. She came nowhere near as close as all the other cards on the list. Although she's selling, it seems like people have kind of moved on to other cards. 
forgotten her, left her in the backdrop, they're bored of her, whatever the reason, our girl Lily is sitting there on the sidelines, not getting as much love as a lot of the cards I showed you on the list today, but a lot of that could have something to do with that price tag attached to her. I'll be curious to see how she does, we'll check back with her in about 30-40 days. Now, the next card on the list is going to be the Balefire Dragon from Ultimate Masters. This card comes in at $35 Canadian near mint. We got an average of 31 US. The market has it 2536. Foils are 4728 US and 23 euro and 14 cents will get you that card. Now the formats allowed are legacy commander, vintage, and modern. I can definitely see this guy in commander because he just burns everyone, which is awesome. But the sales again were just steady. Just like Lily, he sold copies every day, but he sold slowly. And some days he had no sales at all. So I gotta say he's not slow, but he's not fast. He's just, he's a big dragon. He's hanging out there on the perch and he's saying, here I am, why don't you guys all love me? Like, what can we say? He's still a decent card. So many magic cards, so little time. I really hope everyone enjoyed the video today. And I gotta say, I wonder what will happen in Magic the Gathering tomorrow. That's right, we've made it to the part where I get to worship all of my amazing patrons and bow down and say, I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! You guys are awesome. Big shout out to each and every one of my amazing patrons. Thanks a lot. Sometimes at the end of a video, you just gotta wave bye, everybody. Have a great day today.